A mind expanded by new experiences never returns to its original dimension. I served four tours in Iraq and Afghanistan. During my first tour, I was a staff sergeant at the time, in charge of an entire squad. We were in a convoy, traveling down some shithole of a country. As the convoy was driving, we started receiving fire. I had to react quickly, give my guys commands in order to get out of there safely. That's, that's when all hell broke loose. The vehicle I was in, about a half mile up the road, tripped an IED. The blast knocked me unconscious for several minutes. One of my guys, leg was gone. His face was unrecognizable. Ed, you don't have to keep sharing if you don't want to. Would anyone else like to share? Go ahead. I know we all have different experiences with trauma, but uh, you know how you feel. I've never been deployed before, but I was assaulted sexually in Hawaii, my first duty station. My unit nor did the MP believe me, and the guy who did it was in my unit, and instead of punishing him and kicking him out of the army, they pushed his career forward. And I broke him. Fucking worthless. Hey. Baby. Hey. Can you leave me alone just a little bit, please? Something happened at work? Specialist Rodriguez! Are you fucking deaf? Or are you choosing to ignore me? I fucking hate my job, my unit, and I fucking hate Sergeant Stevens. What happened? So that asshole basically said that I don't have issues compared to him. Then he said he's gonna make sure I wouldn't go to any of my appointments again. Wait, what the fuck? Why the fuck would he say something like that? I just got out of a meeting with the battalion commander. Do you want to guess who's working this weekend? Sergeant, I, I am. Do you want to know why I'm now working this weekend? Because you failed last week's division run. Seriously, Rodriguez, how hard is it to run four fucking miles? You get paid to run. That's because I failed last week's run and he's getting chewed up by Sergeant Major. So that gives him a reason to tell you that your problems aren't real. I'm gonna go to the battalion commander tomorrow. No, please don't. You're just gonna make things worse. Worse? I'm gonna make things worse? No, this guy made things worse. You can't just go around saying shit like that. I blame the fact that she's constantly missing PT due to her appointments. <sighs> the appointments. The fucking appointments. Sergeant, these appointments address my issues. Thanks to your issues, now I have to go see the battalion Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major's gonna fucking tear me a new one. Sergeant Neal. Have Specialist Rodriguez lay out all of her equipment for accountability after lunch? Roger that, Sergeant. Rodriguez, go get your gear. Check me, Sergeant. You have actual mental health issues, and this guy thinks he's just gonna run his mouth and nothing's gonna happen to him? No, fuck this guy! No, please, stop. I don't want you to go to my unit, okay? I'll take care of it myself. Then fucking take care of it! Or I will! Sergeant Stevens, I'm sorry. Specialist Rodriguez. I don't give a fuck what you have to say. You will have your equipment here after lunch. You will be working this weekend with me. And you will not be attending any more appointments. I'll make sure of that. Damn worth this Baby, pick up the phone, please. I need you right now. Just do it, please. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Oh, sorry. I got a list of issued equipment. Look. No 
this Iron Steve was going to be a fucking prick. And he really shouldn't have singled you out. But you did fall out of the run. It does need corrective training. Although I really don't see how that's going to fix anything, but... Sergeant, I'm trying. I'm only human. I'm sorry I singled you out. But you are in the army. So starting after work, we start some remedial PT. Make sure you don't schedule any appointments around that. Track this way. Just one thing. I already scheduled a group appointment tomorrow by the end of the work day. Do tomorrow's session during lunch. Thank you, Sergeant. Rodriguez, come with me. Tracking. Rodriguez, I need to write you up for that run. But I hate paperwork. So congratulations, Rodriguez. I'm assigning you to 24-hour CQ today. Sergeant. You are not to leave your place of duty unless otherwise instructed by the NCOIC. Sergeant, I have an appointment today. <laughs> the fuck you do. I told you, you're not going anywhere, friends. Sergeant, these are mandated by my mental health provider. All right, then. You go to your damn appointment. You are to text Sergeant Sneal when you arrive to and are done with your appointment and when you are back at your place of duty afterwards. Tracking? Where's the sign? Get these nameplates back up. fucking cry and complain about how you're having this shitty ass day because of this asshole and now you want me to brush it off? This is why people are always running over you. Excuse me? Seriously, I think this is why people run over you all the fucking time. Fuck you! Fuck me! Fuck you! Take care of your shit! I can't do this anymore. Hey, what the fuck you doing? Hey, Candace! Leave me alone! Open the fucking door! They don't care about me, especially you. You don't care about me! Look, baby, I'm sorry, alright? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't I can't help it sometimes. I just start fucking yelling, alright? I I wrong with me. I fucking angry. You're ruthless. Pathetic. How do you even get in the army and you want kids? You? You can't even run four miles. You're worthless. You are. You're worthless. He's patient. I need to be patient with him. You're worthless. He's gonna put you away. I know he will. Yes, he will. Just watch. No. I'm not worthless. Are you sure about that? I can prove to Sergeant Stevens I'm a good soldier. Oh God, he thinks you're the worst soldier ever. That's not true. We all have setbacks, right? But that's not me, it doesn't define me. You should just end it all. And you're suffering. I'm not worthless. Carlos is right. And I'm not, and I know I'm not fucking perfect, but I'll never be. But I can work on it, right? Excuse me, Candace. I just have to say that what you shared, 
That's one of the bravest things that anyone can and never has that I've seen. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Hey, call me Edward as long as we're here. Thank you, Edward. I know what you're going through. I've been dealing with PTSD for about eight years now. One thing's for sure, it never goes away. However, just because it doesn't go away doesn't mean that you can't learn to cope and have a happy life. I'm not worthless. I'm not. I'm not worthless. I'm not. I'm not worthless! I'm worth... I'm worthless. Thank you, Edward. I feel like you're the only person who understands me. My husband says he's trying, but it's... I'm sorry. It's hard. This takes time. I'm sorry, I fucked up. You just gotta remember that he's trying. And you gotta be patient with him. He's learning to be patient with you. Yes. Rodriguez. Good morning, Sergeant. I'm surprised to see you the first one here. Well, I came in early because I want to speak with you. Do you have me? Yeah, I do. Well, I know I've been failing recently, and I apologize for it. I also want you to know that I will improve. Look, I need to ensure that all my soldiers are meeting standards. That is why I am hard on everyone, including you. I understand that, Sergeant. I won't be a problem to you anymore. Well, I look forward to seeing you over there. Until then, I have a meeting with the commander and the first sergeant. Watch your back, sergeant.